اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملاء أعلى ما شاء الله لقوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ما الذي أولياء أضاعين ونبع الله وكون عونا لنا بالله وصلى الله عليه وسلم ما الذي سيد صلى الله عليه وسلم الله فائز والثاني ما الذي سيد صلى الله عليه وسلم محمد ناظم عادي الحقاني سيد محمد عادي رباني ما الذي صاحب الإمداد أم الدون بمدلكم يا رجال الله Alhamdulillah, we are drawing near to a season of lights and season of mercies and seasons of maghfira and rahma. It is this this whole month is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is letting us know that He loves us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he loves his habid, his servants. And he's saying, you come, sinner, asi, come repent. Come and take advantage of this holy month, this holy season that I give for you to forgive you. Come and take this opportunity to be a person who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a'taqa min an-nar. I mean, a person who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves from eternally, he grants him safety from hell in this holy month. And this month is such a season of mercy that the hadith uh, where we recite always to show how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored his Prophet sallallahu In the same hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hadith when Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was going up on the member and Sayyidina and was saying Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. And uh, Sayyidina, they asked him afterwards and he said, when I was going up first step, uh, Sayyidina Jibreel came to Prophet Sallallahu and he said, that he, his nose is rubbed in the ground, means he, his, he will be humiliated if somebody mentions you and that in front of somebody and that person doesn't make salawat on you. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahabihi wa sallam. This is and Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying Ameen. So Sayyidina Jibreel making dua and Sayyidina Muhammad is making Ameen. And then the second one was Raghima Amfum Ru'in that a person is humiliated, uh, the one who, if his parents, one of them or both of them, uh, grow old in his care and through serving them doesn't go to heaven. Yani through serving his uh, parents, if he has the opportunity to serve them and he wastes it, he will be humiliated also. And the third one, the one who witnesses Ramadan, وَلَمْ يُغْفَرْ the one that goes through Ramadan and at the end of it, he's not forgiven. I mean, what kind of person is that? Meaning, this, this hadith is meaning that you'd have to be a real shaqi, you'd have to be a real uh, person who, who is miserable and for you to witness this Ramadan. And not to, I mean, it's, Prophet, this hadith saying is so easy to reach Allah's forgiveness in this Ramadan and you wasted it. Allah is making it so easy for you and you're wasting it. And he, this is the one that Sayyidina Jibreel making dua against and Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam making ameen. And it's very, very, means this, this, this Ramadan is such an opportunity to reach Allah's pleasure. And Alhamdulillah, Allah is granting us, inshallah, inshallah we witness it, inshallah He grants us tawfiq to worship Allah as, as we ought to in this holy month. Inshallah He grants us himma, He grants us the um, high, high aspiration. Himma is high aspiration. 
is to have high aspirations in this month. Ya Rabbi, I, I am worthless, sinful, but I know you are most generous, most forgiving, most merciful. Lord, and I know in this month, if you, if you want to mercy the servant of yours, it's easy for you. And I am hopeful that I will be from those Utaqa. And I'm, my target is to be from those Utaqa. Utaqa ur Rahman, Utaqa ur Ramadan. Those who are granted safety from hellfire, my goal is to be from them. My intention is to be from them, Ya Rabbi. I want to reach the end of the month and you are pleased with me, happy with me. I don't know how, but my intention. This is what I want. If you want, you can make it easy for me. But at least we should have that aspiration. We should have those intentions. Uh, and the month, it is from beginning to its end, an ocean of mercy and safety. And that's why one of the wisdoms that Laylatul Qadr is sprinkled throughout. <laughs> because according, I think, to Sayyidina Ali, it's on the first of Ramadan, the first night. <laughs> and then there are other hadith. It is on the 21st, on it's somehow 15, 19. It's, there are authentic hadith indicating that it could be on any of these nights. so that we take every night seriously. Not uh, like uh, we used to we'll wait till the 27th. <laughs> Khalas, 27th is the night. You know, you, how you, you, you are, no, we, we, we don't know. So every night is a special night. 27th is the most uh, mashhur. The most famous um, in the Ummah is that the night of the 27th is that night. But even, even Allah subhanahu see the wisdom, even the last 10 days are also mixed up. So if the last 10 days of the month, if the month is 29 days, then the last 10 days start when? When are the last 10 days? Starting on the... 19th in the evening of the 20th, 10 days. If the last 10, if the month is 30, <laughs> then it starts on the 20, 21st, is the night. So the even become odd and the odd become even. Okay? So that it's completely hidden. And it is only by Allah's tawfiq, Allah's granting us success. Allah granting us ability that we may witness that night and and be from its uh, its people. But one way to do it is to to think that every night, inshallah, is Laylatul Qadr. If you think like that and you sleep on Laylatul Qadr, you should be okay <laughs> because you're trying your best because you're trying to, yani. Catch it as much as Allah knows the intentions. Allah knows niyatul abdi khayrun min amali. The intention of the servant is better than his deeds and actions. Yeah? We are weak. Alhamdulillah, Allah is not judging us by our deeds. Ya Rabbi Shukr. Ya Rabbi Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we're not entering heavens by our deeds. Who will enter heaven by their deeds? Hadith al-Nabi. Alhamdulillah, by Allah's mercy that we're entering heaven. That's why the first thing they teach you in tariqah, don't rely on your amal. Do, but do it because you're told to do, because you're ordered to do, because you want to be, trying to be obedient. But don't, at the end of it, don't think, don't think that I have any credit. If you manage to, to pray, uh, to recite the Quran, to do whatever it is, always defer it to the one who gave you tawfiq to do it. Allah. Manage to do zikr, say, Ya Rabbi, shukr. 
you made me you granted me to do to remember you you granted me to recite your quran you granted me to understand it is all fadl min allah wa ni'ma we don't claim anything so inshallah this this night is coming the night tomorrow night uh, inshallah Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad uh, and he said that uh, I think Turkey in general uh, they're, they're starting tomorrow night and Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad follows Turkey in this uh, Diyanat, Diyanat, it's called Diyanat uh, the institution there that he is uh, starting so inshallah we, we are intending to uh, tomorrow night uh, start and to the adab is when the maghrib time comes it's, it's good to it's good to shower and uh, uh, stand and make salawat on the prophet uh, and ask Sayyidina muhammad to intercede for us to uh, for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all these things we were talking about you know to come from that door as well and in in this book uh, Futuhat al-Haqqaniya says to do that adab every night, you know. <laughs> and it's, it's very important also to make intention for the entire month that you will fast from beginning to end. And then to do the intention every night as well. Uh, our mashayikh, they break the, when you break your fast, right then and there, they make intention for the next day so, so that you... Uh, it's not for so as they make the dua uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahumma wa wa bika amad alayhi tawakkal dhahab al-dhama abtanat al-urwatha wa al-ajru inshaAllah Allahumma inna waytu siyama yawma ghadim min Ramadan right away connected in English you could say it. I'm intending so that it is gone it is it is uh, the niya is there but we also make intention for the entire month from beginning to end that we want to, to fast. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. We will, inshallah, in this holy month, um, there's an adab also that, uh, you know, reciting the one of Quran daily before Maghrib. And then reciting the first uh, verses of each surah, the entire Quran, uh, according to this book that is compiled by it is supposed it is the wasiyah of Malan Sheikh Nazim, compiled by Sheikh uh, Adnan Qadasallasiru, to recite uh, these specific adabs every day, if one can. Yeah, it's not uh, if one is able and uh, so inshallah I will, will t my intention is to do it every night we did it last year I think we recited uh, we recite one juz of Quran every night and then we recite the first verses of each uh, surah and then we recite uh, dua, dua al-Ma'thur of Sheikh Abdullah Faiz Daghassani we recite the dua of the Asma al-Husna as well it's part of it and uh, dhikr will be on Friday nights before Maghrib because it's easier for people because there's taraweeh. And it's also for as long as it's on Friday. Uh, so we will do it, inshallah, Friday. We're starting every night at 6.30. So we have, uh, we're starting, I think we have an hour and a half almost. And as the time increases, inshallah, we'll have more time. Uh, we'll do the khatam. And we'll do maybe a short advice every night before we start. We're also intending to uh, read the Sharh, the compilation or explanation of uh, Sheikh Muhammad bin Alawi al-Maliki on the Manzumat Aqidatul Awam, the Aqidah of common people, the belief of common people. It's, it's, a, it's like a poetry, rhyming uh, Manzuma, and it has a beautiful story. Uh, uh, Sayyidina Imam Marzuki. Uh, he saw Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
in his dream and he said, recite after me. And Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started reciting the, 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 the Aqidah, Manzuma. And then uh, the Sahaba were there also. They were listening and then he, after he finished, told them to recite it. And the Sahaba, every time he reads one of the couplets, they say, Ameen. So he woke up and it's imprinted and he wrote it down. Uh, so it's, it's a beautiful aqidah because it deals with all matters of aqidah in a summarized and beautiful way. And also it has the, the names of the Ahlul Bayt and the Prophet's family and ch children and so forth. So it's a blessed, uh, blessed aqidah. We, we will read it and read the dis explanation of uh, Sayyidina Imam Ala al Malik on it. We all need to remind ourselves of uh, our beliefs, inshallah, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. We're intending, so you know, that way <coughs> I keep myself busy with good things and maybe something good will be coming from it. But I don't know how we're going to do it since we're doing it nightly, so maybe we'll do the um, uh, three or four days a week in the Aqidah. And then we, with with also the recitation, that's going to be, inshallah, uh, a handful. Friday night's uh, dhikr. And uh, what else? Eh? Huh? We have Juma. Inshallah, we will be doing the Juma, we'll broadcasting it also. Um, as well uh, on the night of zikr we will have iftari here and uh, i don't know if anybody else is interested on other nights we can do uh, like oh, especially on the weekend uh, yeah if, if people want to also the the barakah of uh, inviting people to their home for iftar we can do it they can arrange it with the kashif or sheikh kashif or sami uh, inshallah and uh, so, uh, yani this is this month, uh, Ya Rabbi, Allah Kareem, Alhamdulillah, we're almost there. Um, and, I mean, Allah Tawfiq, Bi Hurmatil Habib, Bi Hurmatil Fatiha.